growing up, me and my twin brother, you know, it was always a rivalry thing. But like growing up, my family, everybody was like, yo, Jarrell, you the cuter twin. Girls, they loved me. They, they found me very attractive. So I think that just made them jealous. I think that just made them really jealous because it's like, I am a bit of a ladies man. So, yeah. He just always tried to like really copy me in a way. And it's like everything he tried to do to copy me, it just failed on him and it, it always worked for me. I'm younger by two minutes and I, I feel as though he take that two minutes he have over me and he try to run with it. And it's just like, even, even to this very moment, this very day, he called me little brother. And I gotta tell him all the time, like, bro, stop calling me little brother. Like, we equals, we twins. He's a, he's a bit of an angry drunk, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he felt like that people wasn't giving him his due, saying he's cute or anything. So he literally got drunk and he just shaved everything off. Even his eyebrows and all his facial hair. And next day he sent me a picture and I'm just like, yo, why did you do that? Like, <laughs> so he's just like, yo, people call him ugly, so he like, he gonna get the people what they want. I'm here because my twin brother is accusing me of having sex with his girlfriend who I never even met. I never even met her before ever. And from the pictures he showed me, she's not even my type. So, and plus I would never even cross my twin brother like that anyways. Um, he believed uh, me and Val slept together because he checked her phone. And for some reason, my name was in her Facebook search engine, which was crazy to me, because I never, I ain't nothing. This whole situation has driven Quindrell nuts. We've been getting into arguments for like, this has been going on for like, what, maybe a month and a half now? And like, so we was arguing or whatever, and he, with him accusing me of sleeping with her, and he just came out of nowhere and was like, yeah, I kissed your ex. And he was like, yeah, he, he had sex with her and everything. And I'm just like, where does where this come from? So I'm just like, yo, I gotta get tested. I would like for him to get tested as well for that. It definitely has to stop. Um, yeah, all this fighting and whatever, it's like, I'm we too old, we 32 years old. It's just like, I'm, I'm past fighting him. I have nothing to prove fighting him. It's like, and when I was younger, I fought him a lot to prove I was like the younger, being a younger twin, I felt that I had to prove myself. So it's like, now that I'm grown, it's like, bro, either we gonna, we gonna be men and be adults about the situation or any situation, or just, just stop talking to each other as a whole. That's why I'm at with it right now. Like, we don't even have to kick it. We don't even have to talk. If it's gonna mean we gonna keep getting into it over stupid. That's just how I feel. It was like, maybe a couple months ago on Facebook, Val, she, she let me look through her phone and I look and I see my brother's name in her Facebook search engine. And, and when I seen it, I got a little violent and I slapped her out of her, out of her sleep. Uh, I, I, I attacked her. Like, she was sleeping she, and you slapped her? She was her? asleep and I, I slapped her like two times and, and oh, out of her sleep. Now we got through the standing up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why, okay, first of all, it's really cowardly to hit your woman, but while she's sleeping? It was that, and then it's, it's, a, it's a lot of other things. It was like, uh, so I had a family member, this was uh, July 23rd, I won't forget the date. I said, uh, it was a family member that said they seen my brother leaving um, somewhere uh, near, close to where I live with Val, with the perfect description, mind you, they never met her. They never met her because I keep my life private. I tried to keep her a secret. But right. he says they never met. She says right. they never met. Why could they, how could they have sex? But that's crazy though. How do you come up with a perfect description? At the time she had braids, light skin, tall. What, what about the relationship with your brother? We, we have a, a toxic, hot and cold relationship. It's like one minute, we the best of friends. The next, we hate each other. Mm. A lot of fights, physical fights. Now, you paid for Val to take a private lie detector test. Yeah. What would happen with those results? Uh, she passed with flying colors. Now, I think it's crazy because a month prior, I saw, I went to her, her, her house, and she had a hickey on her neck. And I'm like, how you had a hickey that she denied? And so one of the questions that I asked was, have you ever had sex with any man in general? So I felt like she- While she, she was with you. Yeah. And she, I felt like she paid the guy under the table. Yeah, that's how she's I taking feel. a test, she's like... Yeah, that, that's, that's how I feel. You and Val, uh, what kind of relationship? 
It's, it, it was an open relationship. Oh, so why are you getting mad for? No, but it's, that's, I told her. If it's I, open, why are you getting mad? I told her, don't cross the friend and family line. And I felt like she crossed that by having sex with my brother, my twin brother at that Has time. she ever cheated on you? She can't. It's an open relationship. And you don't cheat on her because nah. it's open. Yeah, right. So you sleep with other women? Yeah. <laughs> she, she know about it. Right. Now, your brother says this isn't the first time that you've gotten into a fight over a woman. It was, uh, what was it? It was 2015. It was 2015, I accused him. It was a girl I was with for six months. I accused him of having sex with her. We got into a fist fight off that. You and your brother beat the hell out of each other. Yeah, I had second degree burns from that fight. <laughs> hey, but now, y'all see how delusional you sound? Oh, you look bro, you, bro, you got these people laughing at you, bro. Just everything, bro, just my literally family members everything. Said they, they said they, they saw y'all together, bro. Bro, you know she's a bro. You know this, bro. These results come out that yeah. you failed and you having sex with my girl? Well, it's going to be a problem, and you know that. Yeah? Yeah, it's going to be a real problem, We don't bro. see. We don't see. But you right. better pass too, though. Bro, better I'm going to The only reason why I said what I said. said that. Because you said that. If you, if it was, I wouldn't even had you take no test. You now, said if that. He, if he slept with your girl. Yeah, my ex. Uh, my yeah. ex. Yeah. If, it, if he went over, I, I'm, I'm player. Yeah. Like, when I say I'm player, Steve, man, I'm player. Did you sleep with this girl? I never even met her. That's the killing part about it. I never, and I've been asking this man. I'm like, bro, let me meet her. I want to meet, because I'm like, who this girl that finally got my brother? He was ducking relationships. <laughs> Steve, and Steve, this situation was so bad. I shaved off my eyebrows. I shaved everything off. <laughs> been stressing me out. And, and, and I was 145. Why would you shave your eyebrows? Because the thought of them having sex. The thought of them having, I shaved face, everything Steve, off. Steve. And, and, and uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> when Jarrell has accused me of cheating uh, pretty much from the beginning of our relationship, it's been a very tumultuous, rocky two years um, filled with accusations, filled with abuse, filled with physical and verbal abuse. But this most recent time was um, a situation with his, his twin brother, who I don't know, never met, uh, had no intention of meeting. Um, I had ended up looking him up on Facebook. Then um, I'm sleeping and he wakes, I woke up by him hitting me in my face. And he said that's what he found, his brother's name on a Facebook search. I never messaged him, I never did anything. So I previously um, agreed to take a lie detector test um, back home. And I took this test, you know, to prove that I'm not lying to, the, to, to him. Um, I've never met his, his twin brother ever in my life, never spoke to him, don't know him, uh, don't know anything about him. So I took this lie detector test. We both were there. It was a certified polygraph technician. Um, I passed it. I wasn't lying. The technician told him that. And even after that, he still accused me of lying, accused me of either sleeping with the technician or paying him off you know, under the table. So it's like, um, I don't, I'm not sure why for him, he feels these are more valid results, but it's gonna be the same results because I'm not lying. When Quindro was accusing me of cheating, um, there's been physical abuse, I've been hit, I've been punched, um, I had my property damaged, I had my car um, damaged, I had my windshield broken, I had my tires slashed. Just really breaking who I am and break, trying to break my spirit. If my partner, you as my partner, you're making me feel uh, bad about myself. The person that you're with is calling you ugly. The person that you're with is, um, you know, talking about you, talking about uh, your job, talking about you're broke, talking about you, just, just putting you down in every way possible. And so those are things you start to internalize. And so other forms of abuse are able to happen. Initially, I guess I kind of just gave him the benefit of the doubt, like, oh, maybe he's feeling some type of way about himself or he's going through his own struggles. But hearing that over and over and over again, that breaks somebody's spirit, it breaks somebody down. It just, like I said, opens the door for other types of abuse to happen, which is what happened. So it's not a situation I'm gonna continue being in. So I don't wanna be a victim of abuse. That's not what I'm gonna be known as and remembered as. Why, why would you do all that? Look. I felt like all my actions were justified. Me slashing all the tires, all that. She hurt me, you, so I tried to hurt her back. You feel it's justified by somebody you say you care about. You hit her, you destroy her things, you call her names. You feel that's justified. 
Yeah, and you, you want to hurt you back. And you want to have a relationship with this woman. If she passed, if, if, if they pass this test, I want a relationship with both of them. You know, really disturbing. He, he says he cares about you. Oh, and if you pass, he would like to have a relationship with you. No, I'm not, I'm not interested in, uh, in, in moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Why are you here today? Um, I'm here today just to prove that I'm not lying. I took. That you never slept. With I his never brother. slept with yeah. his brother. I never met his brother. Um, it, it, it's, it's just I'm tired of, of being in a. But why do you even care proving it to him? I mean, this is a guy that uh, mistreats you. Listen, it's cowardly that he hit you, but then how cowardly more to hit you while you're sleeping? Yeah. You know, I mean, I can't even imagine that. I mean, that sounds like a mortal enemy. Yeah. Now you, now you know, it's so many other things, bro. I've asked you time else. and time again. This is all something in your head. All right. <laughs> and like, even y'all got you and my brother. Y'all got like stories that 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 because, align. Because like, maybe the problem I'm is not, you. Maybe it's all something in your head. Is this, is this the first time meeting each other? Yes. 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 Never saw each other. Never Literally. seen each other. Literally. First, Never had first sex. Time. Never. 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 Ever. And you don't you think they're lying? They're lying. Your they're, brother's they're, lying. They're working She's together. Lying. They're working together. They're working together. Work, working together to do what? I feel like the reason why they both here is to, to get the results so they can ride off in the sunset. That's that's what it is. Are you trying to ride she's off gonna ride off to the sunset, but she's riding off alone. Yeah, okay. Let me ask you, Val. We broke it into two parts. I'll read the first part. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with Jarrell? You answered no. Did you ever have sexual, physical sexual contact with Jarrell? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> during during your relationship with Quintrell since September of 2021, wow. other than Quintrell. Have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? You answered no. During your relationship with Quintrell since September 2021, other than Quintrell, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man? You answered no. Results came back the same, and they came back that Val told the truth. <laughs> All right, Quintrell, we asked you, did you ever have sexual intercourse with Jarrell's former girlfriend? You answered no. Did you ever have sexual contact with Jarrell's former girlfriend? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Quintrell did not tell the truth. This is funny. Yeah. This is funny. Is it funny to you? Nah. Funny. You're a clown. Get the I admire you for saying enough's enough, and I'm out. Uh, and you shouldn't tolerate that from any relationship you're in, and, and he's a bad guy, and he's a weasel. And, uh, I hope, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen with you and your brother, that's up to you. I wish you all the luck in the world. And uh, good luck to you. Thanks for coming out. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.